Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's Esther from Esther Astra Healing. Today I'm going to start a series about Hebrew alphabet in power of Hebrew alphabet. I create a very handy PowerPoint for you. You can use it really daily and connect to uh, your sign and uh, which letter represent each sign. I'm going to show you right now to start with, just if some of you never um, had a chance to see Hebrew alphabet or be familiar with that, I'm going to show you right now the post screen share. So you will have a better idea what I'm talking about. So Hebrew alphabet, it's not just any other uh, alphabet we used to. The Hebrew alphabets are a field of consciousness. Each of them is the expression of unique energy intelligence, holding specific attributes and animated by a very powerful spiritual force of energy. Uh, it's all together, we have 22 letters. I'm going to right now go each just to pronounce before we're going to move to uh, 12 signs. The first letter I'm going to point here, it's called letter Aleph. Then we have letter Bet. Then we have letter Gimel. Then we have letter Dalit. Hey, Vav, Zain, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ein, Pei, Tzadik, Kuf, Reish, Shin, Tav. And this is just the points. We really don't need them right now. They don't uh, do right now any uh, difference for us. Now, I have a couple of surprises for you. I don't know if any of you, some of you probably know, the 22 letters uh, provide the connection through which we can relate to the light of creator, the creative divine energy. They are the fundamental aspects of the vast machinery for communication with the supreme energy of cosmic intelligence. So it's not just letters, it's this is really very powerful force of energies because the Hebrew is the sacred language. The initial creation was created with Hebrew al alphabet, the medium of divine communication. Through the centuries, and millenniums, our sages, we call them tzaddikim, by the way, from letter tzaddik, I'm gonna show you the letter tzaddik. This is the letter tzaddik, and it's a, um, a planet, uh, by the way, Jupiter creates its uh, tzaddik. So the righteous people in mystics have thought that letters are not ordinary expressions. They indeed vary each word in Hebrew alphabet. The ot actually in Hebrew, it's, a, it's called ot, letter, ot, means sign of wonder. I think this is really heavenly revelation for many of us. The more we learn about the letters through both study and meditate, the greater become our inner development in connection with the letters. It's like everything when we do, uh, we practice, when we exercise, this is how we consistency. Same thing here, as more we're going to meditate and develop our own connection, as more we're going to uh, see the power we can have with that. Uh, we can control these uh, celestial bodies, astrological science, planets within creation. It seems like a very simple task at first and hard to believe that with the letters, we can actually control big, huge planets. But the way how light of creator works, it's very simple. We complicate things and many times in order for us to really to be in awe of something and to believe it's need to be really complicated. But here, such a simple tool with very uh, complex inside force of creation, we can really, really control uh, a lot of things in our life, our DNA, our body, we're going to go after different classes. I will provide different courses about different uh, Hebrew letters, the numerology of the Hebrew letters. And you're going to be amazed of the energy, energetical force and uh, the meditation, what you can accomplish and how you can work on certain traits of characters within you and it can help you. Now, um, one thing I just want to mention, I remember the story I was reading in one of the books, um, the stories of uh, Tzadikim, of righteous people, sages. Uh, before we have all the technologies, uh, a lot of us, we are ancestrally just used to live in small villages. 
and village used to collect money for months for each family, no matter how much money you have. If you're a wealthy family or you have only little, everyone contribute to give money for the journey. They used to choose one person from the whole village to send far away, sometimes weak months to reach to the sage, to go and study with the sage and then come back and to teach everyone in the village. So right now we have unbelievable information in front of us and uh, it's everything available. This is how it can be become tricky because we sometimes can lose the appreciation of the tools and information we have. So I really hope before we're gonna start right now, go of each sign, you will understand the magnificent, the energetical force each letter contain is the letter of uh, angels as well. They understand the letters. Uh, we're going to talk about after difference between Hebrew and Aramaic because the Aramaic is a language not understood by angels. Uh, and the, the Holy Zohar uh, written by in Aramaic so we can have a direct connection with the light of creator and as well to get the additional protection. It's called Or Makif the surround light by connecting to the book of Zohar. Right now, we're just gonna start with 12 signs of Zodiac. I'm gonna start with the magnificent areas. And uh, as you can see, areas, the months which is belong to areas called Nisan, and two letters represent Dalit and He. Now, Dalit, it's created, Dalit create Mars the planet Mars, and in Hebrew, it's called Ma'adim. The He create areas, the celestial sign of areas, and in Hebrew, areas called Tale. Now, we need to understand uh, by just closing our eyes, if you have any um, anything in your chart, which is, for example, Mars, and sometimes you do have a challenge with the Mars because it's an unpredictable planet, and uh, it's a planet of uh, activation. If you really want to work inside of your chart and to communicate, you have to understand we have a power to communicate with uh, celestial bodies. And if uh, you have a planet Mars in your chart and areas, you can meditate, close your eyes and uh, imagine them in the golden energy with golden light and to put inside of yourself and scan your body and meditate. Even sometimes you feel reactive and you feel you really need right now some tools. Believe me, I know it sounds so simple, but how simple it is, this is how powerful it is. We need to remember light, it's simple. The other side is Satan, it's complicated. He constantly wants to introduce us to everything from complicated things, but really the simplicity, the beauty in simplicity, and this is where real light is. So Dalit He, those very powerful letters for you areas, if you have rising Kumona sign, or if you want to work on just on areas or uh, Mars, you can make all, you can do all with screenshot and keep this uh, in your cell phone and uh, really it can be very handy at all. The next sign, it's beautiful Taurus. The Taurus, it's create months year and it's created with two letters, P and Waf. Now Venus, planet of Venus created by P. P is really magnificent as well. Letter inside of the P, we have a letter bet, which is we can learn this later in one of uh, sessions I'm going to provide. And the Taurus create by letter Vav, P, so Venus in Hebrew, Noga, and Taurus in Hebrew, Shor. Another very powerful tool, and you can take a screenshot and use it for you as well. The next one, it's a magnificent uh, Gemini. And the uh, months called in Hebrew, which is a part of Gemini, it's Sivan. And two letters represent uh, Resh and Zion. Uh, letter Resh create Mercury in Hebrew called Kohav. And letter Zion create Gemini in Hebrew called Teumim. So it's really, really, really amazing tools as well. I just want to remind you, you simply can close the eyes, exactly how this beautiful Gemini do, does. And you can imagine this letters inside. And this is how we can control the energetical force of, uh, planet, of planets and science. So the next one, we have uh, beautiful cancers, the sensitive, deep, 
uh, beautiful cancers. It's one of the really science, uh, really amazing sign when you really know how to control the energy and deepness and uh, sensitivity and emotions. And those two letters definitely can help you. So the letter, the one letter, which is create moon, it's called Taf. And in Hebrew, moon called Yerech. And it says uh, month Tammuz. And the letter cancer create, uh, the uh, months of cancer create with letter Chet. And in Hebrew, cancer Sartan. Okay, next one. We have Magnificent Leo. Look at the Leo, oh my God. I love Leos. No one like Leos. When they come in the room, you can feel the presence of Leo. And, you know, uh, just for you to know, the Leo is the sign of Jerusalem. So it's really spiritual sign and it's risen sun. So we can see the months of Leo called Av. And um, by the way, it's same letters, uh, Father in Hebrew. And the sun, it's uh, made by letter Kaf. And the, it, in Hebrew, sun, Shemesh. And the Leo create with letter Tat. And we can see in Hebrew, Leo, it's Ari. Ari. Okay, so we're going to move forward to the next sign. We have a beautiful Virgos. And Virgo, your Mercury again, same as a Gemini, create by letter Reish, and it's called Kohav. And Virgo, Betula in Hebrew, create with letter Yud. And it represents months Elul. It's a very important month as well. It's called months of redemption, uh, months of Tshuva. Uh, and a very, very, very powerful combination as well, Reish in Yud. Next one, we have amazing Libras. And Libra, same as a Taurus created by Venus. And it's created with letter P. And the planet called Noga in Hebrew. Libra with letter Lamet. And Libra in Hebrew, Mosnaim. And a month called Tishrei. The next one, we have months of Scorpio. And the letters create Scorpio, Dalit, and Nun. Dalit create planet Mars, called Maadim, same as Aries. And the letter Nun created Scorpio in Hebrew, Akraf. And the month, which is Scorpio belongs to, called Shechvan. The next one, we have a beautiful, magnificent Sagittarius. And the Sagittarius... Um, the planet Jupiter, created by letter Gimel, and the Jupiter in Hebrew, Sedek, same word as the truth, and righteousness as well. And the second letter, it's Samech, and creates Sagittarius, and in Hebrew, Sagittarius, it's Keshet. And the uh, months called Kislev. Next one. We have magnificent, I, re I really love uh, Capricorns. It's very, very uh, mystical sign as well. And usually Capricorn, uh, it takes them time to get to, to a spirituality, but when they get, you can take them away from spirituality. So uh, the two letters create, uh, it. the letter bet create planet Saturn, and Saturn, in Hebrew, Shaptai. And it's really interesting because Saturn represent, belongs to day of the of the week, Shabbat. And name of Saturn is Shaptai. And the letter created Capricorn, it's Ain. And in Hebrew, Capricorn, Gdi. The month called Tevet. So again, you can use this letter. To meditate if you want to control the powerful energy of Saturn, or you want to control the energy of Capricorn, you can put them together or you can meditate on them separately. And the last and not least, it's Aquarius, magnificent Aquarius. As we live right now in the age of Aquarius, and all of us inside of us, we do have energy, energetical force of Aquarius as well. 
Aquarius same as a Capricorn created uh, uh, planet Saturn and Saturn created by letter Bet and in Hebrew again Shabtai and the Aquarius created by letter Tzadik and uh, it called Gli. And interesting enough, the uh, Tzadik is the same letter as the Tzadik as we uh, we went through another planet, Jupiter, Jupiter uh, called Tzadik. And this is Tzadik. So it's really connection as well. So Aquarius is a uh, bet and Tzadik. And they do have righteousness. They have a special ability as Aquarius. Has, and we all have uh, Aquarius in our chart in some place in progress chart or in our birth chart, natal chart. So it's really, really, really powerful combination, bet and Tzadik. Each letter it's tremendous energy and the months call Shivat. So I really hope this information will serve you well. And you can use this uh, uh, inform as information and powerful tools for your daily life. And it can improve your life. It can improve how you really want to overcome certain force of energy inside of your astrological chart. And if any of you interesting to have a reading with me session, you can uh, check links below. I'm always looking forward to connect with you. And I have to say, I have so much appreciation for each and one of you, all my clients who reach out and how much desire you have to understand yourself better, to use the tools, the astrological tools and why your soul chose in the first place to came to certain family, uh, country, day and time of birth. Everything is the perfect combination in order to complete this journey, this lifetime. I want to wish you all many, many blessings. It's my privilege to provide you with this information. And I'm looking forward to connect with you more. All the best. Bye-bye.